This is one of those weeks. Isn't it always one of those weeks? Well, okay. There are some weeks where I, I do have to kind of sift through to find stuff I, I would deem interesting enough to put on the show. It's not a spoiler, guys. He's in the trailer with the star popped out of the uniform. Come on. Everything in the spoiler you mentioned, it exists. It's a spoiler. I cannot be spoiled. In fact, I will never see the movie, so I can't be spoiled. Fucking, he also has a beard. Fucking internet. I fucking hate you, fucking internet. Anyway, some weeks I have to really get the stuff together. And then other weeks, it's the fire hose. This, this was a fire hose week. Keep in mind, I pared this shit down. It's one of those weeks. Is this just the rest of the show? Are we going to do this till 2 a.m.? No. No? I've okay. Got to get the intro going. No, I, I, I'm not going to spend the entire night doing, doing this. It's bad enough I've spent over a decade. I don't want to draw it out any worse than I have to. Okay. Come on. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And okay, before we get to our first story, this is not a time loop, this is not a rerun. There's this strange aspect of this in that everything we ever cover seems to come around again. No matter how fucking weird. Obscure. There are moments I say, this is never going to happen again. And then it does. And I'm... I'm no, you're not imagining this, folks, because we even have video... We got video. Oh my god, like 16 people sent me this today. <laughs> I've been getting this link at least twice a day since Sunday. It happened which again. Which I know is yesterday. It happened again. But yeah, this happened earlier than yesterday because I feel like I've been getting this link for a few days now. Is that a balloon? That is a giant inflatable duck. That has sunglasses. broken loose and is rolling down the street in a city. I mean, it's Des Moines. Oh, we're being but generous there. Smashing into stuff, just blocking traffic, all sorts of shit going on here. And but this, I like these also wearing like the deal with it shade from the meme. Yes, that is like, the different part. That fucked up. Deal with it. Because the last time this happened, the duck wasn't wearing sunglasses. So I guess no. I guess that is that is the different part here. That's the upgrade. Uh, yeah, the, I would not have believed this exact same goddamn thing could happen. I kind of do because I feel like those those big inflatables. If you don't have a pro set those up, like you really gotta secure those motherfuckers. Like, have you seen how many people they have holding the balloons in the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Well, yeah, there's like fifty people. But the, the, another duck, another duck. Yeah, another like, duck. Elmo this time, just for fun. Another duck rolling down the street, and I believe I this this. As I was going over the story, this thought occurred to me, and I believe it's the exact same thought that occurred to me last time this happened, which is, how the fuck do you explain to your boss why you were late? Video. <laughs> like, thank God we all have video cameras now. Yeah, well, you're... So there was this giant duck in sunglasses just <laughs> rolling down the highway. You been drinking again, Jim? No! It's on my iPhone! This there are there are some events that happen in life that I call question moments, <laughs> where the only thing that's going through your head are questions. All rational thought flees. You're immediately just going, "Wait a minute, that's how did a duck get? Why is there a duck on the road? How, it's got sunglasses. 
What am, am I asleep? Am I okay? Am I high? What what is going on? That's that's all that's going through your head is this constant patter of questions because the world, for a few weird bending moments, stops making sense. I was watching this video last night while I was also watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because HBO has just been running all the Harry Potter movies constantly. Have you seen that movie? For, yeah, I I don't I. I've seen all the Harry Potter, but I don't remember the fucking titles to save my life. Do you remember the bit about the boggart? The little fear thing? Mm. And the way you get rid of it is you turn it into something hilarious? <laughs> so I'm sitting, I'm watching this video while the movie's on, and I'm like, oh. Like a meteor was hurtling toward Earth, <laughs> and the right fucking wizard went ridiculous! And it turned into a harmless inflatable duck. And we were all saved. And that's why there's still humanity. And this is why I don't have children. Because I would tell them shit like that. That's why you have nieces and nephews, so you could tell them shit like that. Yes, exactly. That's why my sisters get really exasperated with me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this next story. There is a saying, which I hate, by the way. There is a saying that if you do what you love... You'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. Well, in this case, not only will you never work a day in your life, you'll also uh, be spending it in prison. Um, Porta Potty Voyeur records himself in the act. If you're going to hide a video camera inside a porta potty, make sure not to be accidentally filmed while setting up the equipment. Police allege that a Pennsylvania voyeur earlier this month placed a tiny camera behind the toilet paper dispenser inside a portable toilet on a construction site near Johnstown. The camera, cops say, recorded several unsuspecting victims before a worker discovered the hidden device. A review of the camera's footage showed Kenneth Haluska, 59, installing the device inside the mobile restroom. Haluska, while wearing a white construction helmet and green safety vest, is seen above in the still from C's video. Haluska, an engineering inspector, had been at the Johnstown construction site on the day the camera was found. So you were filming your coworkers? Well, that, what he, he, he what an inspector does is they go on site, they check yeah. the site out, and they move on to the next. So he was just going to construction sites and filming dudes taking shits look i know everything is porn <laughs> i know there's a fetish for literally everything but dirty sweaty people peeing and shitting in a porta potty literally not a single word in that sentence is sexy <sighs> not a one Maybe sweaty? Maybe? Maybe sweaty? Maybe. Maybe. I, I'm i allergic to my own sweat. I get rashes, so not so much. Because I have redhead skin, which we've discussed. That That is that's something about that porta potties and airports have in common. You need to be there, but no one wants to be Nobody there. Nobody chooses to be there, no. Yeah. The war I... When I was marching in the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade one year, I got forced to use a port because no place will let you use their bathroom in New York City on St. Patrick's Day. They're all like, no, go fuck yourself. We were about to march 40 blocks and I had to pee. So I had to use one of the porta potties. And I think I still have the germs on me. And it's... it was like 15 years ago. Like, <laughs> <laughs> those are some res resilient germs. No, I just... Oh, next year I'm out of college, 20 years. Uh, I'm basically on the verge of death. Yeah. But, hey, you didn't stick a camera in a porta potty so you're one of... I did, and I wouldn't, and I don't know why you would, because that's awful. Yo. Like... <laughs> Johnstown. 
So, uh, next up, okay. This this is this is another moment of the proportionate response education, I, I guess remedial education segment. Um no one likes having to go to jail. <laughs> if you have to go to jail, you have to, no one likes it, obviously. That's the point of jail. It is designed to be punitive and unpleasant. Yes. However, well, in other countries, it's designed to be rehabilitative, and they have much better luck with that. But we're jerks. But in general, if if you go to jail, it's best to serve your sentence than to try to escape. Yeah. It's even better not to escape when your sentence is four days long. Oh, come on. No. You're going to get so much longer a sentence. Uh, How is that worth it? Uh, no. Oh, look at that face. Look at this fucking douchebag. Now I'm having problems with the website. He is he is a douchebag. Like, under douchebag in the dictionary, there's just this picture. Maybe with a white visor photoshopped on it. Here we go. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys see. Does it have a picture? Here's his picture. This is Mark Schwartz, uh, 22, inmate escape two days into a four-day sentence. Like, why? <laughs> two days into a four-day sentence. Um, wow, San Francisco Gates website sucks. All right. Uh, freedom didn't last long for a Northern California man who escaped from jail last week. It was the second day of 22-year-old Mark Schwartz's four-day sentence when he decided to make a break for it. Uh, Schwartz managed to scale the tall fence surrounding the jail just after 8 p.m. When Schwartz reached the top, he had to get past coils of razor wire. Took some time, but he entangled himself with the coils and he dropped to the ground. From there, Schwartz hopped over a wooden fence and started running. By this point, more than 20 deputies, highway patrol officers, and other police were on a hunt for the escapee. Um, authorities converged on the, on the spot where the helicopter, helicopter scanned the area with the searchlight, so Schwartz would have to stop moving. Uh, they captured him just 38 minutes after the escape was reported. Could the food have really been that bad? Look, I know everybody had to see Avengers Infinity War, okay? But you could have waited a few days. I mean, you were it's not like you were going to get spoiled in jail. None of them saw it either. <laughs> four day. Man, if I had a four day jail sentence, that would suck. But you've already done half of it. Right. Like, it does suck. No one's going to tell you it's fun. But just keep your fucking head down and get it's four days. It's four days. It's and I to jump through razor wire. That seems definitely worse than spending two more days in jail. Like if it were spend two days in jail or tear through razor wire. Razor wire is called razor wire for a reason. You could lose bits of yourself. Yeah. And if you're just scrambling and flailing through it, it may be bits of yourself you would really, really, really miss. I mean, to be fair, I don't have bits of myself that I wouldn't miss, except for all the fat. But it's not going to do that for you. Like, it's not going to pick out, like... Hmm. It's not just going to cut off the bingo wings. It's going to take the whole arm. Probably not the whole arm. I admit I'm not familiar with razor wire because I've never been in jail. But you know what I'm saying, like... As I just, what was what was he in for? DUI. And, and you're definitely going to get a longer sentence now. Do you? Yeah, that's the other thing. You were almost at two days, two more days. You would have been out. Guess what? Escaping, they keep you longer because it's yeah. a crime to escape from the jail. Like you were halfway done, and now you're going to be in there way longer. Yes. This, this was a bad risk. Uh, 
And, and people are pointing out he got four days for a DUI, and they're I like, know. Jeez, that, that alone is bullshit. Yeah, th- talk about a fucking. I, I need to get the big bigger picture of him up there. Um, where's where's the big picture? Come on, there Probably he is. A fucking douchebag. That yeah, that is that's a dickhead. That's a dick. I'm sorry. You 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 can kind of spot him. It's it's not just the way he looks. It's the hair. That's yeah. that's dickhead hair. That's that's the kind of hairstyle that says uh, I paid fifty dollars to have it look like I didn't pay anything at all. Yeah, I paid extra and used like thirty dollars worth of product to look like I rolled out of bed and threw a supercuts. I <laughs> proportion just wait the last two days. Oh, <laughs> oh! This 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 next one is from the "Don't Try This at Home" uh, category. I knew this. This is one of those stories I knew would happen one day. I knew this was coming. I I I felt it in my soul that this exact incident was going to show up on this show. And the day has finally come. It's happened. Caddyshack inspired orchard employee tries to smoke woodchuck from a hole, accidentally starts a brush fire. Really? A main maple orchard employee attempts to channel the soul of Bill Murray's character in Caddyshack has ended with a similar result. Authorities say the orchard employee started a fire on Saturday to try to smoke a woodchuck out from a hole in the ground in Monmouth. The Kennepack, uh, Kennebec Journal reports he accidentally started a brush fire that burned almost two acres of grass and brush. Monmouth Monmouth Assistant Fire Chief Ed Pollard described the effort as, quote, not the way to get rid of a woodchuck. In a master class in (laughs) undersea. Like no, that's that's not the recommended method. That is not. That's that, you're not going to find that in any textbook. No. Uh, I, really, if you're at that moment in time, you're like, I'm gonna smoke this fucker out. Stop. Yeah. Just just put it all in perspective. What are you doing? Yeah. What the. I feel like at least once a week we have to say that fire is not the answer. Sarah, Sarah, I need Grady. Uh oh. Because something just occurred to me. We need Grady here. I know woodchucks are annoying. Like when I lived with my sister, she had two that lived under her deck. They lived under there for so long that they named them Chuck and Charlotte. <laughs> And they used to eat her plants and it drove her crazy. And like, she it's couldn't have a vegetable garden. My life. Uh, what? This, this is my life. I'm like doing something else in the oh. other room. And Sarah, I need Grady right now. Fetch me the feline. I'm all right. <laughs> Nobody worry about me. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> She's like, what is happening? I hate this. Greedy, why I'm is so this sorry. happening to me? I'm so, I had to happen. What, so why? Sorry, but why happen? It had to. I'm so sorry. But why happen? I love you, Grady. He, he, he didn't tell me. <laughs> he only told but, me he needed you. He didn't tell me why. But, but why? But, but why? That had to happen, though. <laughs> and what's funny is he was so annoyed, and now he's just settled in. He's like, all right. Yep. You're, you're going to hug me now, though. You're, you're going to pay for that with hugs. I took, Dan took me to the shelter yesterday to see some of the cats since I didn't get to go Saturday. And there's a kitten in the kitten room that just fell in absolute love with him and was grooming his beard. She spent like 10 minutes licking his beard for him. Aww. But anyway... Fire, not good for extermination. No. Not the answer. Especially in a fucking orchard. Like, you, your business is trees, man. That, 
that's where you get the, your money literally grows on trees. Yes. And you know what trees don't like? They're not big fans of fire. They're not. They're not. They've ne trees have never been really uh really They don't get, they don't get along so good. They don't. No. Okay. Oh, uh, we you know what we haven't had in a long time, Tara. Sanity. Well, that and good old fashioned naked rampage. Yeah. Naked man and woman caught running through Tulsa Mall. Oh. Tulsa police responded to a Woodland Hills Mall for uh, for a disturbance caused by a naked man and woman. Uh, Corporal Bain Cullum said it started with a stalled vehicle call and a woman getting out of her vehicle naked and running. Her clothes were found in the car. Police say the man followed the woman and was carrying a pit bull on his shoulders. Okay. Column said they found the man's clothes in a parking lot between the restaurant and the mall. He said drugs were found in the clothes. Officers went to the mall and found the couple hugging each other. He said Macy's employee had wrapped a towel around them both. And those employees? They didn't get paid enough to do that. Nope. Column said when the man and woman saw police, the man ran away and the woman ran toward the officer. She was taken into custody. They say the man destroyed plastic displays, broke glass, and cut his arm. Now, okay, the cops here got a little hyperbolic because this is a quote. Police say they followed the, quote, path of destruction and blood <laughs> until they found the man in the sock department. The path oh. of horror led us to the sock department. Boy, it's rough times for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, huh? <laughs> like, I know their record sales aren't where they used to be, but wow. The pair admitted to taking marijuana and dipping it in a cup of PCP. No! This... This is not what... A, this is not one of those like mix-ups with the cereal where you where you get the it's not like oops I all got chocolate in my peanut butter. This is got peanut butter in my chocolate. This isn't like where you get the wrong marshmallows in the wrong cereal. Don't fuck with the okay, these are the old drugs. They are don't try yeah. to invent new ones. Yeah. Separate your drugs. This is also the PCP is the time honored masquerade breach cover-up in vampire larps yeah whatever Anytime some assholes running around hitting stuff with super strength and speed oh it was a guy on pcp just you know bringing on larpers out there a little bit of flavor text <sighs> i j i actually am embarrassingly hooked on a on a series of like psycho killer erotica books that takes place in tulsa it's about this chick who's, she's a cam girl, so she's naked for most of the books, but she's also like a straight up fucking serial killer. So I heard Naked Rampage in Tulsa and I was like, oh, it's Deanna Madden. The one I, the one I feel really sorry for this whole thing is the poor pup, the dog, the pit bull. I know, what happened with that dog? He had no idea what the hell was going on. All of a sudden... His owners got very naked, and instead of, like, being able to run with them, they put the dog on his shoulders. I can tell you from experience, when you pick a dog up, they get really confused. I mean, some dogs love it. Yeah, but a pit bull-sized dog, they're like, whoa! A pit bull-sized dog being run through the mall by a naked human? <laughs> they're gonna be really confused. Now, the, the dog was probably, okay, Mr. Person, we are running now, and I do not understand, but this is very interesting. Yeah. <sighs> this... What? this does not seem like a fun day out to me. It's but like, why 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 in public? Why are you doing marijuana and PCP in public? It's bad enough. Bad enough you're doing marijuana and PCP together. But that seems to me like that's a whole like, experiment. At the mall with your dog. With the dog. Like, 
Do that at home. Yeah, that's that's not one you need to exp- stay away from other people. Stay far yeah. away from other people if you're going to do that because nothing good is going to happen. Yeah. You idiots. Why in, why in public? That's not They didn't even put it on YouTube. I can understand if they were doing this for like a YouTube prank, it would still be stupid, but then the motivations would make sense. They would fall this is just, hey, you know what? We're out having a nice day. Let's get fucked up. The real victim here is definitely the dog. Yes, poor pup. Because now, I mean, his humans are going to jail. Yeah. So he's going to wind up in the system. Sism. Poor puppy. It's National Adopt a Shelter Pet Day. Well, it was. Not anymore. <sighs> but Adopt a Shelter Pet anyway. So, uh, w- this is yet and again, this happened again. Someone get it's, the like, s- it's like reruns week. It is reruns week. Someone get the scoreboard on this one. I know, uh, is the scoreboard still out there? Someone get the scoreboard. I don't know. Somebody put exhaustive work into that, and I am both impressed and scared. Yeah. I. Because we've been doing this a long time. God damn it. How did this... How... God... Mother... Good. <clears throat> Plea deal for woman with gun in body cavity. Why do they do it? April 27th. The Missouri woman who had a loaded handgun hidden in her vagina at the time of her arrest last year today pled guilty to weapons possession and narcotics charges. During an appearance at Circuit Court in McLean County, Illinois, Annika Witt, 27, copped to a pair of fel- felony charges as part of a plea agreement. Uh, picture it right. Witt faces up to 10 years in prison on the gun charge and 15 on custody on a heroin rap. However, her cooperation li- likely resulted in greatly reduced sentence. Um, Witt was, uh, after her arrest, Witt was transported to the McLean County Jail. Arrestee subjected her to a strip search. It was during that procedure the female jailer, jailer uh, recovered a loaded Kimber 380 caliber handgun from Witt's vagina. Loaded? The weapon, cops say, had a fully loaded clip and a bullet in the chamber. No. The gun, seen below in the photo from the manufacturer's website, is 5.6 inches long. Now, that's not a 9 millimeter, obviously. It's, However... Okay, but... <laughs> um, it's not the length, though. It's the girth. Right. Like, how wide is that handle? It, well, it depends. Did it go in this way, or did it go in this way? Well, either way, you're going to have to deal with that handle at some point. Doesn't matter. Loaded. It's a fucking right angle. Like, either way, you're dealing with that. With a bullet in the chamber. That's so not safe. Like, Dan's already in bed, but he would be fucking apoplectic right now with over a, the gun safety failure. Bullet in a bullet in the chamber. Like, if you crossed your legs, you could have shot out your uterus, you dumb, dumb person. <sighs> I, I just, I don't understand things going up butts and vaginas as no, hiding places. Also, I guarantee you that's so, like, that's so unsanitary. Like, I promise you that that gun is not sterile. And just, like, welcome to crazy-ass infections. I, it's... I have never been in a situation where I've needed to hide something so badly. I thought, well, only one thing for it. No. I, it just, it's, it, it's not even on my radar to shove something in there to keep it concealed. And if you, I feel like if I got to that point, I would probably just give in. Yeah. Like, before I would shove 
a gun up my vagina, I would probably just own up to having the gun. Yeah, it's like, my choices are, I get arrested for having this gun, or I shove it in one of my own holes. Yes, Terry's worried about the sterility of the gun. You know why? Because it was inside her vagina. Yeah. If you have a vagina, you know why that's fucking horrifying. If you don't have a vagina, you don't understand that very specific things go in there and they have to be clean. Otherwise, your life becomes a hell of internal burning and itching. You ever have your internal organs itch? Once. It's terrible. Yes. Yes, it is. That's what you're sh sh signing up for, shoving random stuff up your cooter. I just... It doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't go there. No. Under no circumstances does it go there. Why did it go there? And they're just... You're going to jail. You've been arrested. They're going to find it. So now you've made it even worse. That had to be so uncomfortable. Like, okay. It's, it's time for sex ed with Tara again. The vagina can stretch to an incredible degree. Yeah. Like... Women pass humans out of those. Yeah. And so don't and don't even get me started on the whole loose vagina myth. It's bullshit. Men, stop it. But the vagina is a remarkably, incredibly elastic organ. But you shouldn't fuck with it. No. Like, it's not silly putty. It's not a toy. Because you only get one, and if you break it, that's it. They're not giving you another. There's no backup. That is that is an interesting way. I could just see you telling this to, like, a class of 12-year-olds. <laughs> Look, you only get one! Get one of them. Act accordingly. Yeah. They don't have spares anywhere. That's not true. This week they did the first, well, at least on half for half of us, that's not true. This week they did the first ever, well, no, it was third, third, but uh, penis transplant. Pe no, it was first penis and scrotum transplant. Yeah, here's the difference though. I mean, that penis is gone, men. Mm. So they're going to put a lot of science and research into that because we as a society, Worship men and your stupid little dicks. Ain't nobody give a fuck about anybody's vagina. They just don't. We'll get there. We'll, sure. We'll have vagina transplant. They did the scrotum too. That was the big part of it because the scrotum was. They also a oh, weird part. But like, of why would you though? Because what transplant? Because it was a veteran who had his entire crotch shot off. Right, but, like, if it's not going to... All right, I've, 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 I've dated men that had vasectomies, right? And I'm like, yeah. if they're not technically working anymore, they seem to just be there to cause you pain. Like, why not just hack them off? Well, they did. They, they actually had to, ethically, they had to remove the testicles because they were from a dead man. But I'm saying, like, why, if it's not going to serve its function, and all it's going to do is be there to get twisted and sat on and kicked and cause you excruciating pain, just hack the fuckers off and be done with it. Like, I don't understand it. I don't know why you'd keep them when they're no longer operational. It just seems like asking for future torment to me. But that's me. Y'all seem really attached to them, so... You're horrifying half my audience, and I love it. But I, I'm serious, I seriously want to know, though. Like, why would you keep them? <laughs> As you're talking, every dude who's watching this is just, like, slowly retracting. <laughs> I'm asking a serious question. I really don't understand why you would keep them. <sighs> all, all, all they are there for, then, is to hang down and be a constant threat of pain.
That's literally their function at that point. I don't... A constant threat. Yeah, that but does nothing for you. They're old friends. They've been with me since forever. I'd miss okay. them. I'd miss them. <laughs> so it's just sentimental? It's sentimental. Yeah, it's a sentimental scrotum, Tara. Okay. <laughs> I have a sentimental attachment to my scroll. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like good sense to me. Oh, <laughs> oh the conversations we we get into. <laughs> Got to take sentimental, sentimental scrotum. Mike wants you to title the show to Sentimental Scrotum. Uh, Mike can piss off. Um, so, what have we learned this week? The vagina is a very, very remarkable organ, and it does not need guns shoved into it. Right. There's a, No, I don't want to castrate dudes. And it's not the same as earlobes. I don't have balls. I'm asking an honest question. I... I'm I'm very attached to my nuts. Okay. I, I think I, I might be off balance. If it's tied to the psychology of maleness, okay. I might not walk. Like I know hysterectomies are very traumatizing for women, even if they're past childbearing years. So if it's something like that, fine. I'm worried I'd like lean to the right. <clears throat> I, I wouldn't quite walk properly anymore. I'd be off balance. Okay. Used to swing in just a certain way. Um, we've learned that drugs are a home activity. Yes. Not a public. Okay. You don't. You don't want. If you're going to go goofy and start experimenting and get to the fringes of human cognition, neato. Do that shit at home. Don't. Don't get. Ugh. With, with a safety buddy. Yes. We've learned that Caddyshack is not a template for exterminators. I knew, I knew for, yeah, in the back of my head, I was like, someone's going to do this shit someday and I'm going to become, and someone did it. Every fucking stupid thing that happens in the movies, I'm waiting for some motherfucker to do it. That's why there are ridiculous safety warnings on everything now. Like, do not iron clothes on your body. We're gonna okay, to... hormone control. That makes sense. We're gonna have I to... had forgotten about that again because I don't have them. So that's a sensible reason to keep them. We're going to have to put disclaimers on movies. Look, you assholes. If you do any of this shit, <laughs> we are not responsible for it. Doctor Strange 2. Asterisks. You will never be a master of the mystic arts. Please do not attempt to vogue. At criminals. We've learned that uh, when it comes to, you know, some situations, it's better to get to the end the hard way than try to yeah. take the shortcut. Yeah. Especially when it's all oh, for it, four days. Four. It was only four days. We've learned that the memes are coming to life and they're coming for us. Yes. Deal with it, duck. Is <laughs> fucking deal with it, duck. And we've learned there is a kink for everyone, no matter how horrific it is. No matter how gross and sweaty and pot bellied. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm going to get yelled at for body shaming. So let's just stick with gross and sweaty. Fifty nine years old. And you're sticking cameras in a porta john. I mean, maybe he was just trying to catch someone who was clogging it? No. <laughs> maybe he was trying to catch a toilet paper thief? Yeah, that, yeah, maybe, except he put the camera at dick level. Yeah. 